Hello, and welcome back to Hellblade. I'm going to adjust my microphone for a second. There we go. <coughs> um, I haven't played any PS4 games in a while or put any on this channel um, because I didn't have the right equipment and, you know, I used to have to mess around for hours with the audio just so you could even hear me and it was all crickly and raspy and it was terrible. Um, I, I really don't have the money to get a, like a Delgado, like an external or whatever it's called, Elgato, an external um, capture software. Um, but I do have an internal capture software on my PC, and I have um, hooked up remote play through a direct connection with my PS4, so it might not be like 1080, but it's it's pretty good. It's I think it's 720, and there's no lag, and it looks just like it does on my TV screen, at least for me. Um, so this is how I'll be playing my PS4 games from now on. Um, so this will be, that'll be Hellblade and South Park and, um, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins coming up pretty soon. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and here we are back. Um, I believe we did the first trial, which was super fun, running around in a dark place that all looked exactly the same. And I've, I've forgotten all the buttons. How do we run? What's the run button? L1, okay. <laughs> So now it's time to move on to the next trial of Odin so we can get that sword so we can save our lover Dillian. Uh, oh god, I forgot how slow she ran. I really did forget that. Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay. So let's go over to this glowy pillar thingy and see what's in store for us. None of them should be fighting because I don't have a sword. <laughs> that should be a rule. What is the button? What is the button? Okay, here we go. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. <clears throat> Sorry if you hear me clearing my throat a lot. I have a getting a cold. Tis the season for cold and flu. Well, I see a little shadowy figure of a looks like a little boy, but I, it might be a man. Run! I forgot the button again already. <sighs> the slowest running in the universe. what it sees. It's a mask. It doesn't see anything. Oh. What? Trust us. What? It's dangerous. Don't go near it. Don't go there. Don't go too It's a it sees a broken uh, a non-broken bridge. Right, and this is how I get back to the ugly world. Okay, well, I'll explore the nice world for a while. If that's okay with everyone. I do like it here. It's nice. In this world, it is fixed. I've never played this game. I, I Like I said at the beginning, I watched my wife play it, but she never got this far. She got fed up with it real quick. The voices can be really irritating. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins Baldur. with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own <clears throat> death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, Jesus. beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him. Did she make men promise? Hosts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, yeah. is not amused. Messed up, Mom. Okay. Um, 
Can I open this? I cannot. I can probably only open that in the icky world. Okay, got the red door. You can Oh, uh, one of these. Joy. And is the rune in the icky world? Yeah, I know he is. I don't have a gun to shoot that lock off, so that doesn't help me. <sighs> it's down here. Nothing, just another way to get back up to the mask. Stop saying Dillion! Christ's sake. What a surprise. Do, do, do. What's behind the gate? We're gonna find out. Just wait one goddamn second. You're not safe. A bunch of lunatics in my head. Oh, shut up! I'm not gonna! Yeah, I know, but I can't get to him. Uh, whatever, I'm not arguing with these voices anymore. I'll just let them have their hysterics in my head. The world once seemed so simple. Oops, sorry. Gonna have to cut you off. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. Senno explored new paths into the unknown. <laughs> Is it really true? Yeah, hang on. Let me restart your gods story. Feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. <coughs> to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes mm. himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother. Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. <laughs> what? Oh dear. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Anywho. <laughs> oh no, not the mistletoe. It's just a child. Oh, okay. Um... What am I doing? I'm looking for the symbol. Uh, but where? Up here, perhaps? One of these things? Can I climb? No, right? He saw who she could be. Capable of climbing, right? He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within. What am I missing? What? I'm sorry, I don't see. I'm gonna climb up here. See if that's any better. <clears throat> you can't go up there. Go up there. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Thanks. No, I don't remember what love feels like. Doo de do. It, it looks like it should be one of these broken things. That's what it looks like it should be. I'll just zoom in and just start spinning around, see if anything pops up. Oh, what if I get down? He was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him? Can I open this gate? I can. What about that? Oh, wait. Open this. <clears throat> Is it a thing where I have to be in the other, uh, on the upside down? Is that a thing that I have to do? Senua. Senua. He's the reason she keeps fighting. Let me just check. 
if it's unsuccessful, I will cut it out. Because as we all know, it takes her a million years just to move around. I ha I don't remember where the mask was. I know there was a second mask. I just can't remember where it is now. Because I'm incredible at this game. I found it. After unsuccessfully looking at the upside down, I realized that it has to be something with the sunlight. This or this. It has to be this. Tell me it's this. Christ. Do I closer? Tell me it's this. It can't be anything else. Thank you. Christ. 20 minutes of my life running around. I'll never get back. Hey, you gotta get out of here. He's in the dark world. Oh my god. He's in the dark world. He's going to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. Yo, maybe he's better off. Oh, in the dark. <sighs> this is not fair. <laughs> oh, Masky. Masky the mask. Oh. La 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 that's nice here. Eh, I don't see that making a difference, to be honest with you. Yeah, because I can't get up there that way. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I listen to my father? Because he's a jackass. I open the door now. Yes. Whoa! There he is. Where are you taking He's up there. He's up there. How do you get up there? How do I get up there? I don't know. I'm incapable of jumping or climbing. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a there's a dude out here. I'll get right to you, but I need to listen to the rest of the story of Balder first. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe. Ouch. And goes to the gods. Oh, shit. Sorry. I let go of the button. Of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Balder. The blind god, Huth, was there. Huth. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Balder stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Balder. It pierces through him. And no. through everyone's <laughs> Lucky such a Balder dick. <laughs> After this, Hood is slain. All right. Um. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Make the stairway for me. This is really confusing the way they have this. What's that? Like that? Did I do it? Yeah, there we go. Oh! Ta-ta! Ta-ta! Just practicing my sprints. Dillion! <laughs> uh, oh no, he left. Uh, okay, so, story time again already. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Balder. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. Ew. She pushes Balder's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Balder's wife sees his body carried onto the ship... <laughs> it's not funny, grief, but it is. ...and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Oh my god, so what are they gonna do then? Okay, so, got three symbols here. Come on. He led you astray. 
An arrow and an M and years have passed since not sure what. Father. Why didn't you listen to him? She trained hard alongside her friend. Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes. Movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. If you say so. <laughs> Friendship turned to love. The shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian. Who's oh, Zinbel? Is that her father? Two realities tearing at us. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she thought she had light within her when she left. That's enough. <clears throat> Now see, that one's easy. The other one was annoyingly difficult. Dillian, my love. I don't care if the gods are laughing at me. Their stories are laughable. They sound like a bunch of goofs up there. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go to the other side. Oh, yeah. I see the symbol. <laughs> that was hard. Eh. 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 Is it is it the other direction? Is that what it is? It is. Ugh. Be more annoying. Um, okay. Do you remember him whispering in your ear? No. Uh, back at Amalama. No. B -b uh, do I really have to, like, get it from above? Yeah, I do. <sighs> Did I get this one? No. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. Yeah, I was about to say, was that Loki? Giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Cause Hela is her is his daughter. Sounds about right. What was I doing? Oh. I know, but it won't let me look at it, so this is obviously wrong. on it. Oh, my head's falling asleep. That can't be good. No. We're going to go to upside Down again. Stop. I want to go to the Upside Down, please. Look what happens to the things you love. Oh, isn't it awful? Now, is that door open? Tis! How pleasant. Oh, I have rod on my hands. Totally. It was totally worth getting coming to hell and slowly getting eaten away by by rot. If I had to make all the same decisions over again. <laughs> I pick you every time, Dillian. Okay, um So back then? 
Chess? Chess. Who's getting strangled? I just heard strangle him. I mean, it doesn't look. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. What if this is pointless? Uh, uh, what if you're pointless? You think about that? Oh. Well. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. Cool. The gods used Loki's own son's Ew. to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face. Jesus, so the Norse gods were messing around. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. Obviously. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. Yeah, Senua. <laughs> so go home. What am I doing? I'm still missing one. But it's an arrow, and it, it doesn't look like it'll give it to me. Unless I'm outside. Uh, yeah, I understand, and I see your arrows. Oh, goodness. But I can't seem to make it correct. I got it. <laughs> I was just being stupid. Okay, so that's all the runes. So I gotta go back into the upside down and open the door, right? Yes. I am special. It's I just got up, but I'm solving puzzles like a beast. Not really. Oh, Stillian. I just learned a story about accepting death, but I'm not going to. Um. Doesn't seem wise. Stillian. Okay. Very, very careful. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. I looked dimly upon the druids, like her father. Yeah. Zinbel was her father. Look, I don't. There's no. There's no key thing telling me to keep you left or right. So don't start falling over. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. I don't have a sword. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. Darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Yeah, I can't look at him, but the camera won't let me, so I said the trust you voices. Ah quicker. Ah walk forward. Uh oh. That look very good. Oh you know? Your father cannot understand your darkness. Oh, he's kind of handsome. I see it now. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my house. Oh, the subtitles are a little off there. Just another part of the person I know. Aww. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. 
I'm so sorry. Well, boom. What if this is pointless? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that is another trial done with with minimal uh, difficulty on my part, <laughs> or for my part. Um, yeah. So I think we've done two. I think there's five, but I might be wrong about that. So just three more to go till we get our sword back and hopefully our beloved Dillian. Um, I hope you enjoyed this part, Melody, and I'll see you in the next one. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>